Hello and welcome to Twisted Britain, a podcast on true crime in Britain with a sprinkling of the weird and the macabre. And your hosts are me, Bob Dale. And me, Nadine Royal. We're a couple of friends who met in the pub and developed a friendship based on our mutual love of booze, podcasts and pub quizzes. We met in the settle in Stirling and that's where we record. So normally we would tell a story of something twisted each and one long story and one short story, but this is a bit of a different episode. This is more... This is a getting to know us. Yeah, who the hell are you? <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we'll call this who the hell are you. I think before we get into who the hell we are, I'd firstly like to say that um, any new listeners and anybody who's not listened yet and are listening to this first... I'd like to apologise for the first episode because I was so nervous. I'm like so not used to hearing my own voice, having a microphone in my face, etc, etc. N- <laughs> Nadine thinks she sounded meek. I, on said the I first did sound one. meek. I was um, like, you're I like, oh, welcome to Wizard Britain. I'm like, we're Nadine and Paul, blah, blah, blah. I, I think she sounded fine. <laughs> Thank um, you. Maybe I should also apologise for being ridiculously brash and, and uh, <laughs> loud on a podcast, but, you know, I'm not that bothered by this. No. <laughs> um, also... Our sound improves throughout the episodes, I say. I would hope so. We like use a different setup pretty much every episode. We've like tw- tweaked and twisted yeah, little I think bits. Yeah, we're kind of where we're going to be now. Yeah, um, so if you think the sound quality is shit in episode one, bear with it. Yeah, do. Um, <coughs> on the mention of sound, mm-hmm. uh, we do record in the settle in. Yep. Um, in a pub that is open at the time of recording. Yep. And any background noise is not... We're not going to try and hide it. That's no, just, that's it's where natural. We are. It's the pub. And that's why I think that's a reason we decided to record here, right? Is we love this pub, one. And two, it just adds like another little, it's like a little atmospheric niceness. It, you know, we, we promo for the pub. It's the oldest, uh, oldest pub in Sterling. Oldest alehouse in Sterling, oldest I think is the Sterling. tagline. Um, has been called many, many things over time. But the the bit where we're sitting in right now is... Is as the cave? It's called the cave, but it's probably as old as the castle above us. Yeah. Um, so I've heard loads of things about this pub. I've been told many things by many different customers and people over the years that this pub was used as stables, that the pub was used as a overflow prison for the castle at one point. Like, it's just, it's I'd been l- here forever. <laughs> I'd love to see the horses get out the back step into this <laughs> bit where it's... Um, so yeah, like I say, that's, that's the reason for background noise, and we're never going to hide that. That's, no. that's just part of who we are. <coughs> um, we met here. Actually. We did move meet here, yeah. So I <laughs> feels like a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a while ago. I started working here about four years ago when I was studying at Sterling Uni and I was studying animal biology. I moved into the flat next door and got a part-time job here, which quickly became pretty much of yeah, my a, full-time a, by the time life. I, by the time <laughs> I came here, it was a full-time job you had. Yeah, and I lo- I loved it. I loved working here. I met most of the people in my life now yeah in this pub i met my partner in this pub a lot of my best friends my lovely friend bob sitting across the table hi there <laughs> uh, i'll also like to interject here to say nadine now do- no longer works here and no having studied animal science things mm-hmm. at uni has found her dream job recently yeah i'm so pleased i now work in veterinary care and next year i'm going to start studying again to become a veterinary nurse which i'm so excited about yeah i'm excited for you it's gonna I'm be amazing i'm so excited it's so good i love my job you i love my see how job. happy she was when she got that job <laughs> um me i'm i'm a camera geek mm-hmm. i play with cameras all day and this originally the podcast was an excuse for me to learn how to use sound stuff yeah which i th- think we're getting there <laughs> with um you also do a lot of diving I do a lot of diving, a lot and of climbing. And now you're a fantastic dad to a wonderful well, little thank chap. Thank you very much. I think I have one of the most beautiful boys on the planet. You and do, he, you so do. He, he ginger boy he keeps us happy. He's um, so cute. My wife and I are very, very happy and very pleased to have him. So Good. maybe one day he can come along and chat about his weird stories. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a while yet, <laughs> right enough. A, I mean, if he wants to come on and tell me that the cow says moo, that would just be absolutely wonderful. Um, so I suppose why... Why did we, why are we doing this? Um, I think like over the time. So after I kind of whilst I was still here, after I stopped working here, I joined the quiz team that Bob fa- yeah, founded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we'll, we'll go with founded. Yeah. Founded the founding. I'm one, of, I'm one, of, one of the founding <laughs> members. There, there was like, there was two of us used to come up every week for for years and years, and then a friend of mine Duncan moved away, and I kept coming up. Uh, and the, the the team has you've like found loads of stragglers. M- yeah, molded itself. Motley crew. Yeah. Molded itself to into a pretty good quiz team, I yeah, think. Yeah, we're pretty good. We're not too shabby. But I joined the quiz team, and over time, like we we formed our friendship across the bar, and then across the table. And um, 
and we started like I think we just one day you asked me oh do you listen to podcast and I was like yeah, yeah and then we talked about loads of the ones that we both I'd only listen to probably one or two of the kind of big mm. ones I'd been put on it by a, a friend of my wife's um, and then you recommended a couple that are a bit more uh, dark and weird <laughs> um, and the two of us have fallen in love with, with the similar yeah, podcast yeah exactly and, and we talk tell- about them all yeah, the time we're always telling each other to listen to something else yeah uh, but we kind of realised that there wasn't one that was of that ilk that was we liked yeah not, well, not, not liked not right because there are UK t- true crime podcasts and they're and very good they are very good um but they weren't what we had envisioned in our head. Well, I think it was like also the fact that we were sat in the pub talking about it anyway. Why not just make another excuse to come out on a weeknight, get a little little bit pissed occasionally if I've got the day off the next day. Or not. Or not sometimes. Don't say that. <laughs> um, and talk about it some more and just put microphones in our faces. And that's kind of what we went with. We came up, came up with a, the format of the show that you see that we're not going to change. We came up with it on a whim. Yep. We've thrown a logo together. Matt's done us a wonderful bit of sound, mm-hmm. and yeah, we'll we've just got great friends who are helping us with websites and such. And just it's just we're just gonna see what happens with it and where it goes. And and actually, the bit I'm excited about, I would say, is that I love doing the research. I'm a, yeah. I'm a bit of a geek about that anyway. But the thing I'm I want to hear what people think. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, are about we that. just talk? I want to know: Are we just talking rubbish, or <laughs> is this rubbish that people want to listen to? Yeah. So I think please do if it is something that you like listening to please do let us know yeah definitely comment and just w- on, on whichever platform you fancy comment on it we'll, yeah, we're not we'll gonna, pick it up we're not going to push a, a platform at no, all no just whatever you use the most and want to follow or comment or like or whatever on just do it I'd yeah. love it do please follow us on our social media pages mm-hmm. they are a tricky thing for us to keep on top of because <laughs> we uh, are learning as we go yeah um but we're on Facebook. Uh-huh, at Twisted Britain. We're on Instagram. At Twisted Britain. And we're on Twitter. At Twisted Britain. With our wonderful website. www.twistedbritain.co.uk um, I hope you enjoy listening to us. Yeah, same. Final question. Go for it. What is your favourite thing about doing the podcast so far? And bearing in mind, this is being recorded on the same night we record episode five. So we're just, just so we're just We're just tickling the surface of the water as such I, I would say <laughs> that's a weird sentence isn't it? I don't mean that uh, I think my favourite thing so far has been this listening to a story that you would never or telling a story mm. that you would never normally have thought about or get the opportunity to tell or get the opportunity to tell yeah so like I like finding something during the week and just going oh yeah and it's oh I would tell Nadine about that yeah. on a Sunday anyway yeah I love that yeah. I think the hardest thing I've had has been not telling you when we meet the pub quiz <laughs> and having to keep shtum about what I'm going to talk about on the Tuesday yeah that's hard that makes it sound like I do research in advance mm, I definitely do <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes do if I'm being good what about you would you what, what's your why, why, why do you do this mm. why, why do you sit in a random <laughs> pub with me and talk about crime I don't because I think because on a Sunday when we meet up, we always have such a good laugh and stuff anyway. And we've got our lovely friends there too, who we have an equally great laugh with. But sometimes like when we try and talk about this kind of subject matter, it gets lost a bit or we've got to shut up because the next round of the quiz is starting and Leslie will hang us. So like, it's just, it's really nice to come out and sit across from somebody who is as interested in this as I am and who's actually going to listen and comment and be thrilled to hear some awful story yeah, just like um, i am yeah absolutely i think that's a big thing about it is that the day we stop enjoying this yeah is the day it's gonna be wrong. our last podcast yeah but at the moment there's a billion more stories to tell so yeah just i'll find, find half of them and you can find another half <laughs> <I'll> try <laughs> i'll have to start stop googling weird phrases no keep doing it i like it <laughs> remember but, um, re- always remember you can be murdered by a ghost <laughs> don't 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 forget it that's my <laughs> biggest takeaway so far and always start the story with a flip of a coin always that's the fairest way thanks for listening guys thanks for listening and um yeah bear with us listen along see if i can finally learn to keep my face next to the microphone yeah if you would that'd be good <laughs> thanks bye bye <laughs>